Well, it's a pretty nice day out, so uh, I think I'll fire this one up. I don't remember if it's got any gas in it or not. It may have a battery in it, I don't know. Let's open the door and take a look. Well, if it's got a battery in it, it's dead. But, uh, yeah, I think we'll fire this one up today. See if we can fire it up anyway. All right, I pulled the uh, battery out of the LTD over there. I don't know if it's any good, but uh, we'll give it a shot. Uh-huh. Every time, battery cables. All right, let's give it another go. Yeah, I don't think that's going to be enough to start it. Well, I guess I have to jump her with something. Well, after I uh, tried to start it there, I hopped out of the car and I saw a mouse run back in through the air cleaner. And he's still in there. Dirty, rotten mice, man. Oh, there's a whole family of them in there. Well, you can't live in my air cleaner. Not today. Well, now that I've got the uh, air cleaner mice dealt with and I've got her hooked up to the truck, let's see if she'll fire. And we'll give her a minute to charge and see what happens. Well, it doesn't appear that I have much gas at all. Moves up a little bit, but... Might not, uh, might not have enough gas in it, I don't know. I suppose while this is charging I can go get some gas and prime it and see what happens. Well, I splashed a little bit of gas down the carb. Let's see if that helps. Well, it sure pops it off. I wonder if there's just not enough in the tank to get it to actually run on its own. Yeah, I'll splash a little bit more in. We'll see. All right, let's try it again. I think it's running off what's in the tank now, so let's throw the air cleaner back on and uh, put the air filter back in it. And we'll take her up to the shop. Make sure everything still works. Well, I had enough gas to get her going, but uh, I sure don't have a lot in there, so I better get her up to the shop here and, and then head to town and get some gas for it. So now I got enough gas to get to the shop. And brakes are still good. Sweet. Well, it's been about a week since I made the uh, first part of this video, and I took this car uptown, you know, washed it off with a pressure washer, kind of got all the crap off it, and took it up to the gas station, filled it with gas, and uh, when I was there, I noticed there was a puddle of gas under the engine. So uh, I got it home, looked at it. Turns out my fuel pump is leaking like crazy, so I don't think I want to be driving this uh, anywhere. <laughs> Probably catch fire and burn to the ground. And, uh, in other related news, I got the charger for my camera in the mail, and so I can start making videos again. But the day I got my charger, I also fried the hard drive in my laptop. Apparently, they don't like it when you spill a glass of water on them. They're not they're not happy when you do that. So until I get that fixed, I don't have a I don't have a computer and no way to upload and edit videos. So I will hopefully explain my absence. Um, but yeah, just more work never ends. I think I should just get a uh, another donor car with a good engine and everything rather than trying to fix this. 
I think it would just be cheaper in the long run because I need an engine, fuel pump, carburetor probably needs to be gone through. I know I need uh, a new brake booster because that one leaks like a sieve, vacuum leak. And uh, the suspension needs to be gone through. So that's a pretty expensive proposition if I was going to just buy all the parts and fix this one. But if I can get a donor car with some good parts on it, maybe that's uh, the way to go. I don't know, I'll think about it. Probably be cheaper that way.